What's up, Curly Fries? It's your host from the East Coast. I am Chet Curly. Thank you guys for returning to another episode of Break It Down. Now, I'm excited about this one because uh, truly he has become one of my uh, favorite wrestlers as of today. And it's none other than Drew McIntyre. This video will be posted on Friday, September 2nd. So it'll be the day before Clash at the Castle. So I hope to God, Drew, that you either win one or both belts. I don't give a damn. Just win a belt. Now, I mean, I love the Tribal Chief. I really do. But, I mean, like, we need a champion on Raw. Now, before we get started, just make sure to... I don't know what that was, but make sure to hit the like button, all right? Just before that song comes back, all right? Make sure to hit the subscribe button, please. Thank you, because I don't want that to happen again. Now, we're going to start off with the Chosen One's very first championship in WWE. Now, he won the Intercontinental Championship. I mean, it's one of the most prestigious titles, but at the time, we all know and believe that he wasn't ready for any success at the moment. I'm looking over at my data, and I see that he won a WWE Tag Team Championship with Cody Rhodes. I don't remember him winning the title with him, but here's a picture. I mean, enjoy it while it lasts. I mean, he's won another Tag Team Championships with uh, Dolph Ziggler, the Raw Tag Team titles, if you guys remember that, when he actually came back from the Indies and all that stuff, so... Drew McIntyre also has a NXT championship under his belt. Uh, he made his return back from the independence. Uh, he became the NXT champion. And right when he became NXT champion, that's when Adam Cole and <laughs> the Undisputed Era made their debut as well. So, And then you fast forward a couple years, you know, and uh, he actually won the 2000, right, and 20 Royal Rumble match. To me, is one of my most favorite Royal Rumble matches. I can go back and watch it over and over from start to finish. I mean, from the beginning, where Brock Lesnar is dominating the entire matchup, to Keith Lee getting a standing ovation, you know, and to Drew McIntyre eliminating, you know, Brock Lesnar after 13 eliminations to, you know, for the Royal Rumble record. And then Edge returning at the end. But what sealed the deal was Drew McIntyre finally winning the Royal Rumble and getting his first ever WWE championship match at wrestlemania unfortunately due to covid19 and a lot of things that happened he couldn't get that victory moment you know in front of a live audience which to me at clash of the castle i hope to god that he wins the championship so he can get that achievement to get that roar from the fans his home fans over there because he deserves it he beat Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 36 to win the WWE Championship, one of two reigns. The other reign came after he had won it back from Randy Orton later on in the year. I see here that he has uh, he's won a FCW World Championship. I mean, that's 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 Florida Championship Wrestling. That was the NXT before NXT. So, I mean, that's kind of cool that he has the FCW Championship and the NXT Championship under his belt. I mean, I also see that he won the WCPW, a uh, wall culture. Uh, you, you guys remember them? Because I don't, I don't remember them. You, you either? Yeah, because I don't remember. Nobody, nobody cares about what culture wrestling, all right? Nobody cares, all right? But he did win their world championship while they were around, you know? So, I mean, you know, yeah. He also went across the pond to win Impact's grand championship. I know you guys remember that title because I don't because I didn't know they had a grand championship. But I'm pretty sure it was an ugly-ass title. Under the name of Drew Galloway, he did become TNA's World Heavyweight Champion. I mean, it was a great moment for him because he finally got to win a World Championship first before he came back to the big leagues, and he became World Champion of the entire industry. Drew McIntyre, now with all the accolades and all the accomplishments that you have, all the titles, the mileage, all right, from what culture to TNA, all right, from TNA to WWE to NXT, etc., etc., does Drew McIntyre belong in the conversation for the greatest of all time? That's a question I'll leave you guys to decide. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode here. I appreciate you guys showing love and showing support. Uh, whichever character, whichever wrestler you guys want me to do next, just jot it down in the comments and I'll get to it You know, as soon as possible. I do have a list and I'm going by my list and I'm going to do whatever I need to do because I need to do what I need to do. And what I do is what I need to do because I do it. What? But... Always remember, guys, that you guys are stronger than you think, and I believe in you guys 5,000%. I will see you guys in the next YouTube live, short, or video. Peace.